Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play, Kid Icarus for the NES, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this is one of the games that was chosen for the 2016 Christmas Special, and after seeing Colonel 112 one of my best friends by the way, try out this game, I think last year, he wasn't able to finish it! It was that hard, and it is a hard game for when I used to play this game. Which I have on my Wii, by the way, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Hopefully, we will not shit the bed on this one. But, we'll never know until we get in there, right? The continue is just for passwords, by the way. Which, you know, hopefully we will not have to. But I don't think that'll be an issue, because I believe there are unlimited continues in this game. Hearts in this game are used for currency rather than health. And remember, this game functions like Contra. So, if it's scrolling up... Okay, there was nothing in there, by the way. At least, not now. There might be later or something, but maybe it's not available to us yet. So, yeah, you jump with A, you shoot with B, and like Contra, as I was about to say, if you fall down to the bottom of the screen when it scrolls up, even though there was a floor right there before, you will die. Yes, you will die instantly if you fall, and you have only one life and you had to start the level over if you die. So try your best not to. Your health is over there right next to your hearts, by the way. Half hearts will give you five hearts, which is nice. Uh, the harp over there will just give you mallets. Uh, let me press pause. Okay, so you can use mallets as like a type of weapon. More on that later, I suppose, until we get there. Um. There is an advantage to, like, killing as many enemies as you can, every chance you could, because, well, how many points you get will determine your score, and your score is actually used for certain things, such as, like, giving you extra endurance, I think. So I guess if you want, you can probably just camp around and kill enemies ad infinitum. The Reaper here will be a pain in the ass. Oh god, the lag, it's out of control. Oh, I couldn't turn around in time. Oh wow, I just managed to avoid that attack. As you can see, those, like, uh, one-eyed freaks keep coming out. So, the higher your score, the more endurance you get, which is basically the amount of health you have. And I believe it also affects your strength. Alright, let's see how I can deal with this guy. You can also go up here on the other side of the screen, like in Mario 3. Oh, did not mean to hit that Reaper, by the way. The song saying, like, don't fear the Reaper. They obviously forgot about this game. <laughs> I don't fear him, but he sounds very annoying. The best thing for you to do is to try to hit him in the back. Maybe I shouldn't bother going in that room. Um, I've lost like half my health already. Because when you start out, you don't have much health at all. And the jumping in this game is not the best. Like compared to like a Mario game. But Mario is usually like the status quo for jumping mechanics. Kid Icarus kind of doesn't really fall in that category. Okay, Reapers, if you kill them, they give you, like, ten full hearts. Okay, I guess when they're screaming, you can't hit them. Or maybe you can, but it's just harder to. Whoa, that, uh, one-eyed frog came after me. Oh, shoot! I'm finished! There's your password. That's a big-ass password. Now we gotta do the whole level again, because I'm an idiot. Good job, Bonga. And, uh, I don't think we take our mallets with us. Nope, we don't take anything with us at all. Nope, you start from scratch. Again. Have fun! Not even gonna enter that room, because, well, what's the point? There's nothing there. Alright, 
let's try our damnedest not to die so quickly this time. Then again, I think I was pretty close to the end. So, I, I didn't really die that quickly. In fact, I could have just had the end right there. Had I just decided to kill that enemy, instead of just jump over the fireball. Do I really want that? Yeah, I'll get it. Um, let's go this way. Oh no, wait, I went that way last time. Let's try this direction. Yeah, we can bypass that Reaper and instead go to this room. Okay, you can get lots of hearts here and you just fight a bunch of these enemies. They kind of look like they got mustaches, but they're really just alien legs. Or demon legs. I guess it's more demon than alien. Oh, come on, Pit. Get it together. I used to pick you a lot in Brawl, and then in Smash 4, I don't pick Pit much at all, because his side B is much different. I mean, it's okay, but I kind of prefer the other one. Okay, I guess it's only when I attack him when he sees me that you'll start having him go berserk. Oh, all right. Okay, now we can go in here. Oh, there's this. Um, let's try this one. Oh, all right. I guess you can only pick one. Cool. Um... Let's just continue on over here. I haven't failed at this jump yet, and I'll be damned if I do so now. Whoa! Okay! Surprise Reaper much? Oh great, he's mad again. Good job. I'm trying to kill him before that Cyclops frog shows up. Okay. These guys are really starting to annoy me. Because the music... Whoa! I didn't know there was another one of those! Oh, oh my god. This sucks. Almost eight minutes in, and we're already dead like twice. Oh my god. Falling flat here, like the fields of Saskatchewan. And not as nice. <laughs> I mean, there'll probably be some editing here, like, if I keep this up so many times. But because it's still early in the Let's Play, I probably won't need to edit as much. I don't think everyone's gonna be that picky. Um. Let's just, like, try our best to be careful. I mean, it's still a good idea to kill as many enemies as you can, because you can use that towards endurance, which will make it less likely you'll die so quickly. You know what, I was getting kind of worried that, that even though I saw the top part of the floor, that it would not count. Oh, the hammers go. I don't think you can get penalized for being in a level for way too long. So, you can pretty much just take your time. And we'll try this room again for kicks and giggles, because, ow, we did so well last time. And I'm already doing worse than last time, because I got hit twice. Back then, I don't think I got hit at all. Okay, while you're holding up, you cannot jump but you can jump and then hit up. So be sure to remember that, in case you're trying to jump and can't, just ask yourself, are you holding up? And if you are, that's why. Okay, I do remember there is a chalice here that will give you health, provided these guys don't kill me first. Okay, we live. 
Um, I'm just going to ignore that Reaper. It might result in me getting a lower score for not killing him, but at the end of the day, I kind of don't want to be on this level for, like, all of the first episode. Because each level, I believe, has four parts. And this is only the first part. I never really got far in this game, but I think there's, like, four parts to each level. And there's, like, four levels, I believe? Don't know about the last level. It might be just one stage. Uh, Freggy sees me! You kinda gotta approach that Reaper like it's Assassin's Creed or something. Really? No, oh, man, that guy still manages to get me. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm going to edit this out, guys. <laughs> All right, well, several minutes later, I made it back to this room. So, I think there's a little secret in how you defeat this mini game. You have to make sure you don't find the uh, Reaper doll. Make sure you destroy all the others first, and then you can go over the last one. And then you get something special. So we grabbed a potion. I don't know what the hell it does. Maybe it'll come in handy later. Maybe it'll be like extra health in case you run out, which is very likely to happen. Can you select it? I no, you can't select it. Alright. Maybe it'll kick in automatically. Oh well. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Now will we? And who knows? Maybe I'll have that potion and still die. I'll find a way. Oh, that Reaper is stuck! <laughs> He's spazzing out! I was a bit worried I would actually get hurt by touching him. It was probably going to be like that. Okay, I'm already much further than I was before. Maybe you get shot at by, like, these fireballs if you take too long in a level. But then again, there was, like, two of those guys in a row. Maybe that's not the case at all. But oh my god, we actually finished the stage! There is a god! Anyway, well, let's, let's continue on! Why not? At least I'll have plenty of hearts or something. Whoa, that snake almost fell on me. Alright, let's, uh, oh, okay, don't jump down there now. There's no floor anymore. Even though the floor still exists, it doesn't at the same time. What's in here? Oh, it's another one of these rooms. I mean, on the plus side, they're good for, like, getting extra score. And extra hearts. We haven't found a shop yet. Maybe we will in this stage. And if we do, at least we might be able to buy something decent. Hopefully. I mean, 298 hearts. It takes a while to get those. Also, there's ice, in case you couldn't figure out what this surface is. You will slip, of course. Oh. Performance kind of slipped there, in a different way. Um, hopefully there won't be too many Reapers in this stage. I mean, we are in the Underworld, but still. Oh, this stuff is expensive. I would buy from you, but I don't have enough. I guess this game does encourage you to slow down. Like, you know, just take your time and grind it out a little bit. Those guys disappeared through the other side. Alright. I did not need them around anyway. Oh, come on. Ow. 
At least they appear in such a way that I can easily pick them off. Oh, this kind of room again. Okay, the enemies do have a different flight pattern. Oh, I missed that one. They do not stay around forever, by the way. Uh, careful. Uh, oh, nice. Nice on ice. Something these snakes are not. I like how nobody else slips but me. Oh, can't shoot at those? Alright. Okay, this is actually one of the worst spots to fight the Reaper. You know what? Frig it, let's just go. Oh, okay, so the potion does kick in on its own when you're about to die. Alright, we're, we're gonna be okay now. Provided none of these snakes come anywhere near me. This is, this is kind of scary. Oh my god. Oh god, there's a wall. Thank god. I think we're close to the end of the stage. Oh great, this is the Ice Climbers level. Oh, great, I, I, is that if I don't have enough Reapers in my life? Jesus. <sighs> Maybe I don't have to fight him. Oh, he saw me! You know, for being a harbinger of the dead, he's a total bitch. I'm telling ya. He's like, oh no, a dude with brown hair! I cannot look at him! Ah. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Look how close I am to death. I mean, a gentle breeze can kill me right now. <sighs> oh, this is tense, guys. Deep breaths, guys, come on. We got this. We are so close to the end. Whoa. Oh, this is not the exit. Glad you came, Pit. Here, take this. Okay, is it just me? Or do I feel... Yeah, I'm stronger. Does this carry over? Please let this carry over. It doesn't. Oh my god, no. Okay, but... The potion use does not carry over either. Well, this is probably going to be a very bad let's play. Because I don't get to show me, like, making progress from beginning to end. That I have to make all these damn jump cuts. It's not a good feeling, I'm telling ya. So, I'll meet you back at that point. Alright, we made it back here again, and uh, this time we'll try to take our time here. Because I know that these guys will just pop up again. At the most inopportune times. They can jump through the floors. That's just what I need. And that Reaper can't do anything. And we did it! We beat the level! Oh, it powered up! Nice! Okay, so I think that's going to be enough for now. So in the next episode, we'll continue on to 1-3. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.